we're going into this food plot. It's a brand new food plot. They just put it in this year. And uh, we're walking past the food plot here. A hunter by the name of Scott Tobel shot a 155 inch 11 pointer out of this stand about two weeks ago. We got about a, a 400 yard walk yet to get into this other food plot. Try to get in there. Not spoken her too much. Easy with the low pressure dust of these animals. Hey, you, you just killed a boot and crack it. <sighs> Thank you, white tail gods. What, what just a, happened here? What, what just happened? Alright, we gotta understand. Well, like, <laughs> how big of a fiasco was it to hunt tonight and to put a, a camera stand up? First, we had to hang a stand. Then, I just got up here, my bow was at the bottom of the stand, and I had to pull it up before I got a chance to two does walk right out. They're 20 yards from us. I'm pulling the bow up, it's hitting the stand, and they're looking at us, but they're not blowing out. Our cameraman says there's a, something crossing the field, but I can't see what it is. I turn and look, I go, that's a buck. Mm -hmm. This is my first Ohio buck, and the biggest buck I've ever killed with a bow. I tell you what, Todd knows how to hang the stands, doesn't he? <laughs> we came over here, we're like, this tree stand's gotta be on the other side of the food plot. Poor Todd, you just, <laughs> you're just talking bad about him. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. The Clear Creek Outfitters of Ohio. Hey, we had a heck of a buck yesterday morning. About 140, 150 inch 10 point oh, came in. We did. Thank God he didn't want to be a star. We got excited over that buck. He was about 60 yards out. We couldn't get a shot on him. He's probably in the 140s. But nothing like this. Nothing like this. Well, we got a, it was the kind of night that we wanted to stay in and watch football. It was windy. It was. It was just miserable. The deer shouldn't have been moving. But doggone it, they got to eat sooner or later. All right. If we were in the stand not even five minutes. Unbelievable. It's, you think you can climb down these sticks to go see that deer? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to sit down for a second. <sighs> what a buck. What a buck. Was what just happened pure luck? Or was it God's fate? Or was it sheer perseverance? Why did this majestic, wary, evasive monster of these Ohio hills become so vulnerable at that moment? Why this afternoon? Why in front of me at 30 yards? 
how has he escaped the 700,000 registered hunters in this state over his four or five year lifetime? And in the memories of that life spent patrolling the oak ridges of this countryside run through his mind as he expired right before me. And I sat concealed in my perch of ambush and rose with elation to celebrate the kill. We may never know the course of fate that brought us together this October afternoon, but it will be branded in my memory forever. And there is a sadness in my heart, but not for this beautiful beast, but for the non-hunter who may never experience this roller coaster ride of emotion we call hunting. Enzo, I want to thank you and uh, coming down here from Bass Pro Shops to be able to videotape this hunt today and also uh, I want to thank Todd Frank and Clear Creek Outfitters. Um, you are also a guide here and a good friend of Todd Frank's who were instrumental in putting that food plot in that we hunted and uh, it's great when a plan comes together. It really is, man. It's a great day, great hunt. Well, I tell you what, we chased 140 inch deer for three days. Every day we got a little bit closer and we caught some bad weather right. and uh, figured the high winds were going to be bad. Well, all the other hunters wanted to watch uh, football on Sunday. We decided to come out here and sit a stand. And lo and behold, you never know. You never Luna know. Luna Crockett came walking in at 3.30. At 3.35, the hunt was over. It was amazing. This, the wind was swirling around. We were, we were sitting up there kind of saying to ourselves, you know, this is not a good setup. And, and uh, there you go. That's why you they call it deer hunting. You just never know. I tell you what, I'd rather be lucky than good. I mean, it's it definitely paid off. You're just being in the woods. Sometimes it's just being out there increases your odds, and that played a big role today. I mean, everything couldn't have happened better. I mean, it just it worked perfect. And that's what it is. You got to put the time in, and if you don't, you can sit on the couch and watch TV. I appreciate the, the shot you put on that deer. That track that we had to put on that deer was phenomenal. No tracking required. <laughs> You gotta love that. Worked out great. On behalf of Amazing Hunts and AmazingHunts.com, if you want to know where to go and when to go, go to the website, AmazingHunts.com. My pleasure. Alright, good. Oh, it was off. No, it wasn't.